Okay, so welcome back to this course. So in our previous video, we have created the model for our users. And today in this video, we will uh, basically register a new user in our application. We are going to encrypt the password of the user and save that in the database. Now before starting uh, the authentication, I'm going to tell you that authentication is one of the most important part of any application. It varies from person to person and company to company. So everyone always tries to put their efforts in the authentication so that they can make the application more and more secure. So definitely you can modify all these things according to your requirements, but I'm going to follow the best practices that I can follow for the authentication. Okay. Because I have seen a lot of um, developers that are basically storing their authentication token in the local storage. And I don't think so that it is a good habit to store your authentication token in a local storage because local storage is not secure. Okay, it can be accessed using JavaScript code and also your complete authentication depends on the uh, token. So it is not a good idea to put this token local storage. You can put that token in the HTTP only cookie. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do here. So I want to tell you that authentication always varies from developer to developer and company to company, but I will follow the best practices that I can uh, to make my application more and more secure. All right, so now before moving on I want to register the user and before registering the user I want to encrypt its password and save that encrypted password in the database rather than storing the plain password okay so our model is ready so what I do is simply go to my controller and create here a new file that is called you can call it users controller or you can call it auth controller whatever you want so I type here auth controller.js you can also write here users controller if you want so our first method is going to be the register user. So simply import here the user I required from here dot dot slash models slash the user. Okay. And then also let's import here the error handler. So error handler will be required from dot dot slash the utils slash the error handler all right and then also we have to import the catch catch is sync catch is sync error and then we have to require it from the uh, middlewares slash the catch sync error and let's now type our method so that is register uh, user and this will go to the slash api slash v1 slash register register and exports dot register user that will be equal to catch async errors in that we have to pass the async function that has request response next and that first of all I type here uh, I have to uh, push a uh, pull basically not push we have to pull the name the email and the password from the request dot body okay now again I'm not going to handle here my avatar of the user like the profile picture of the image uh, of the user I'm only going to manage name, email and password in this case and then we add our cloudary we are going to definitely upload our avatar also okay so in this case just have to get the name, email and password and after that I simply type here const user equals to await user.create and in that we have to simply pass here the Let's pass here the name, email, password and now let's put here uh, the avatar also. I am going to give it the hard coded values. So avatar, I have to pass here the public ID. Okay 
and I also we have to pass here the URL okay and I have already uploaded an image on my Cloudary server so I'm going to pull that URL and the public ID from my Cloudary uh, server basically and again we will add that functionality later we will pull this public ID and URL from the image that we will pass from the front end all right so if I go to my Cloudary let me let me open that first of all so um, I can show you here now uh, you can see that here I have avatars and products so I'm going to go in avatar and let me let me copy uh, this one click on it I simply copy the URL and go back and paste it in here and the public ID I think so if I go to my data yeah avatar slash that so I simply copy this one and this is the public ID of this image all right I uh, yes okay let's go back all right so now we have our avatar also here now this is coded again we will add that later so now we have created the user now we simply have to send the response back so to me type here res dot status of 201 created and in dot json we will simply pass the success to true and then i simply pass here the user itself all right so let's test it first of all without encrypting it I simply go to my routes and create a new route here that is called of dot js and i simply import here the express require express and then also i have to import the router so cons router is equal to express dot router and then I have to import the uh, method so that is register user and require it from dot dot slash controllers controllers slash the auth controller then simply type here router dot route to slash register this is going to be post request so post and pass here the uh, register user and export sorry module dot export equals to the router so we save it and go back to my app.js simply import the auth oops uh, simply type here auth Off and then simply off. All right, simply save it. And there is some error. So catch async errors. Catch is not defined. All right. So if I go back to my auth controller, so that is async errors. Let's put here s. And now it's fine. All right. So now if I go back to my Postman, create a new tab here, post request. Let's add here the domain slash API slash v1 slash register. And then I simply go to the body row and JSON. I have a pass here first of all the name. So if I type here like my name and I put here the email oops we have to wrap it inside the quotes let's type here lam at gmail.com and let's also put the password here that is going to be let's type here 
G H U L A M. So one, two, three. That it is six characters. But if I remove this M from here, and now let's test it. Send. All right. So you will see here that. Oh. G H U L A. Our validation doesn't work here. So it's just five characters. Model user model that is the min length that is six. Oh, that is small l. So if I simply remove it from here, this simply save it and go back to my Mongo compass and delete that user first of all. Shop it users and i simply delete it from here all right so now if i go back to my postman and now if i press send you will see here your password must be longer than six characters all right it is working properly right now so i type here m click on send from here and this time the user is created successfully okay so now if i simply refresh it you will see there uh, our password is as uh, this string we have to encrypt this password so I simply go back to my vs code and in the user model here also at the end I'm going to define a method here so, so type here encrypting password before saving user okay so simply type here user schema dot pre save we have to encrypt the password so that is async function and we'll type here the next and now make sure that you put here the function keyword you cannot use here arrow function because i'm going to use this keyword here and if you don't know we cannot use this keyword inside the arrow function it is going to give us undefined so make sure that your function has the function keyword it is not an arrow function so user schema dot pre means that before saving the user schema we have to do something what we have to give the password so here first of all i check that if make sure that this dot uh this dot i use the method here called is modified and passing here the password then simply next now this means that make sure that your password is changed because when we are going to update our password or we are going to update our user in our next videos that is going to give us error because in that case before saving the user schema it is also going to check the password so make sure that in that case if it is not modified if the password is same then we don't have to encrypt the password but if the password is modified then we simply have to type here this dot password equals to await and now we also have to import here the package that is bcrypt so bcrypt we have a method called dot hash in that we have to pass here this dot password and then the salt value that is 10 so salt value uh, is like the uh, length of this hash if you pass here the bigger value it is going to be more strong password but 10 is the recommended number for the salt value all right now let's import the bcrypt uh, package so I simply go to the top and import here bcrypt equals to require bcrypt and it is bcrypt js all right simply save it and now let's test it out if i go back to my postman and click on send from here uh, you will see here an error probably yes you can see that so e1100 duplicate key error so email duplicate key we know that our email should be unique so this time the user already exists with this email it will give us the duplicate key error and we are going to handle this error properly in our next videos okay so let's just go back to our Mongo and delete this user.
and now if I click on send from here, you will see that the user is saved successfully and the password is encrypted successfully. Uh, you can see that here, all right? So we have successfully registered our user, we are encrypting the password properly. And my next video, I'm going to generate the JSON web token because whenever we register a user or log in the user, we have to assign the user the JWT uh, token. Okay, so I will see you in the next video.